Hello everyone. Microsoft has integrated its AI powered assistant in Azure, which is called as Copilot for Azure. In this video, I'll show how Copilot for Azure helps to create, analyze or monitor the Azure app service. I have already created another video where I've shown how Copilot for Azure helps in the cost optimization. You can click on the right side of your screen or find the link of that video in the description of this video. So let's test the usage of Copilot for Azure in the lab now. I'm logged into Azure portal now and near the search bar, you can see there is a Copilot button. So click on that button. It will open the chat prompt for the Copilot. However, it's in preview. So there are certain limitations like the action can't be performed on more than 10 resources or you can have maximum 15 requests. So let's check if Copilot can help in creation of Azure app service. First, quickly look for app service. There is no app service right now. Now, because it's an assistant, so not only it will help you in creation, it will provide you information too. So let's ask how to create a web app in Azure. So how do I create a web app in Azure? So it's not very smooth. It takes a little bit of time to go through the documentation and then provides its result. Okay, so now it has come up with the different options. You can use the Visual Studio code, the steps it has provided, or you can use the Azure portal. So it has provided the steps, how you can create a web app. Now, if you want to follow the steps by yourself, you can do it. However, we can ask Copilot to provide a PowerShell script, which we can run very easily and create our resources. So I'm going to write this prompt, provide me the PowerShell script or command, which provide a step-by-step -step way to deploy a web app in Azure app service. And I'm providing the name of the web app also, because when co-pilots provide the name, it's very basic. And most of the time it's taken and you can't use that. So let's input this. And now it will go through documentation and generate a PowerShell script. And now it has provided the script where the first step is it's creating the resource group. However, Copilot is in very initial stage. So it didn't ask me any other information. It didn't ask me what should be the name of the resource group, what's the location. And then it's creating the app service plan. It's choosing everything by itself, though it's going for the free tier. That's a good thing. And then it's creating a web app in the app service plan. So now because it understands the previous chat because it's a GPT power tool. So you can input all your details and ask it to change. So what I'm going to do is change the location to Australia East, change the name of resource group to test RG copilot, change the tier to S1, which is shared one. So let's provide this input and hopefully it will generate a script based on what we are asking. This time it has provided the script quickly. Ah, perfect. It's changed the resource group name, location to, and it has changed the tier two from standard SKU S1. And because we have already provided the name of the web app, so it's taking that name. So now you can copy paste it and open the cloud shell. However, there is an option run. It will open the cloud shell for you. Then you can just copy and run it. If you click run, it will open the cloud shell for you. Now the cloud shell is ready. So let's copy this and run it here. Though you should have appropriate permissions to create the app service. Yeah, that's the problem of cloud shell. Okay. We got an error. Let's figure it out. Let's make it smaller. So resource group is already created. So let's copy this and run it. Let's see if there is an error. There is no SKU. So now instead of troubleshooting by yourself, you can just copy paste this and provide that we got an error. 
and Copilot will fix it for you. As I mentioned, it's in the very initial stages. So, so it generates a script which is not from the latest documentation. So always try to run it in the test environment. Never use it in production. Okay, it has changed from SKU to SKU name. Let's copy this and try to run if this is correct this time or not. Still the problem. Let's try last time. Otherwise, we'll just remove this option and run it. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's remove the SKU and just create it. And this will create a free app service plan. We can change it later. Though there is a limitation, you know, it's, it's new. So you have to use your own knowledge and experience to run it in the test environment. So now it's creating the web app. As you can see, it's creating the resources, Azure resources. So now a web app is created and the state is running. So let's close this. Look for app service. And you can see there is a web app which is created. Though it's running on free service plan, if you go to the app service plan, you can see it's F1. What you can do is go to scale up and you can always change it to basic or shared. So let's select basic upgrade. So now it's upgraded to basic plan. Go back to app service and let's test whether the app service is running or not. Click on the URL and perfect. The app service is running now. It's running the .NET application. So using the Copilot, if you want to quickly create a web app, you can do it. And even you can ask few questions, try to improve the script and, and the Copilot as an assistant provide you a little help for now, but it will be very helpful in the future when it will have a guided deployment where you will just have to choose the options and then it will become more easier for you to deploy because it will keep asking you different prompts. And then you have to just choose the option and it will go next, 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 and it'll be very easy for you to deploy the services. So let's open this URL few times so that we can generate few metrics or let's do another thing. Go back to web app, go to performance, load testing, create a load testing resource, test load 001. And it's creating in the same resource group, Australia East region create load testing resources are created now. So now let's create a test here. So it's using the load testing resource and run test after the creation and add the request. So it's just reaching out this URL request one, add it here. Next. Concurrent users per request will be 50. Let's do it for three minutes. Next, create. So now as soon as the test is created, it will start running and there will be a lot of requests on this app service. And the reason why I'm doing this so that it will generate some metrics for it for CPU utilization, for memory utilization and some requests. So JMeter script is created and the test has started. And you can see on your screen, the test run will start shortly and it will show how many requests are being sent on our URL of the web app. Now you can see that the test is running and it's providing some CPU utilization, memory utilization and the network. And it's executing right now and soon the test will finish. It will provide all the results here. Test is completed now. As you can see, the 50 users were used for all the tests and there were around 274 requests per second. And that these are the different responses which we got. So let's close this. 
So now let's ask Copilot to help us in founding the trends. The first prompt is show the trends of CPU time over one hour. Let's see if it provide any information. And it has first that we are asking about our web app. So it's looking for Azure monitor metrics. And if we open in the metrics, it has provided that this information, which is, which is perfect. It has provided this information and actually this is what we were looking for. That's good. So now let's ask about the memory. So I want to see this is the CPU utilization, CPU time utilization. Now let's see the memory usage and let's open in metrics. And you can see it and it's providing the memory usage for our app. One more thing which I want to see is the trend for the last one hour, which is the request trend. So, so how many requests were sent during one hour, last one hour. You can change the duration also. You can ask for 24 hours, seven days. And what you have to do is just open in metrics explorer and it will show you all the details. And as you can see, our web app got a lot of requests where it peaked to 8.3 thousand requests. That's about the metrics. And one last thing which I want to show is if in case your web app is down, so you can just ask why my web app is down. So it will open the diagnostic tool and then you can go through it and uh, get the details of what has happened. So now it has provided the open app service diagnostic tools. Yes. And it will and it will open it for you. You can change it to one hour. So using the diagnostic tool, you can check the availability. You can check the performance, different requests. And if you'll go to the application changes, it will show you how many changes has been done on the application. Like I've changed the SKU from free to basic. And apart from this, this diagnostic tool is very important and you can see why your web app is slow. It will provide you all the details, provides the different observation and the solutions. And there are multiple checks which are run, which are successful. So I just wanted to show that Copilot for Azure is in the initial phase and can turn out to be a very great assistant in future. For now, you can use it for very small tasks like small scripts, getting some information like the details. If you're selecting something, you can ask about it in the chat itself because you don't have to go to any other chat assistant like chat GPT and ask there. You can quickly ask on the right side of your screen and get the answers. And in future, it's going to improve and have better integration with the Azure environment. As you can see in Copilot for Office 365, where if you are in the Teams call, it integrates very well and provides the summary and all those details. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.